Revlimid is a medication that has been making waves in the medical field for its significant impact on certain types of cancer. In this comprehensive guide, we will delve into the uses, benefits and side effects of Revlimid to give you a thorough understanding of this groundbreaking drug. Developed by pharmaceutical company Celgene, Revlimid is primarily prescribed for the treatment of multiple myeloma and certain types of lymphoma. With its ability to target cancer cells and inhibit their growth, Revlimid has shown remarkable efficacy in improving patient outcomes and prolonging survival. However, like any medication, Revlimid has its share of potential side effects. From common ones like fatigue and nausea, to more serious risks such as blood clots and liver problems, it is crucial to be informed about the potential risks before starting treatment. In this guide, we will provide insights into the appropriate uses of Revlimid, its potential benefits, and the importance of understanding and managing its side effects. So let's explore the world of Revlimid together and gain a comprehensive understanding of this powerful cancer treatment. What is Revlimid? Revlimid, also known by its generic name, lenalidomide, is an oral medication that belongs to a class of drugs called immunomodulatory agents. It was first approved by the US Food and Drug Administration, FDA, in 2005 for the treatment of multiple myeloma, a type of cancer that affects plasma cells in the bone marrow. Since then, it has also received approval for certain types of lymphoma and other blood-related disorders. The precise mechanism of action of Revlimid is not fully understood but it is believed to work by multiple mechanisms. It has been shown to inhibit the growth of cancer cells, promote the immune system's ability to attack cancer cells, and inhibit the formation of new blood vessels that supply nutrients to tumors. Revlimid is available in the form of capsules that are taken orally. The dosage and duration of treatment will vary depending on the specific condition being treated and the individual patient's response to the medication. Uses of Revlimid. Revlimid is primarily used for the treatment of multiple myeloma, a type of cancer that affects plasma cells in the bone marrow. It is often prescribed in combination with other medications, such as dexamethasone, to improve treatment outcomes. In addition to multiple myeloma, Revlimid has also been approved for the treatment of certain types of lymphoma. It is used in combination with other chemotherapy drugs or as a maintenance therapy to prevent the recurrence of lymphoma after initial treatment. Revlimid has also shown promise in the treatment of other blood-related disorders, such as myelodysplastic syndromes and mantle cell lymphoma. However, its use in these conditions is still being studied, and it may not be appropriate for all patients. It is important to note that Revlimid is a prescription medication and should only be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional. They will determine the appropriate dosage and duration of treatment based on the individual patient's condition and medical history. Benefits of Revlimid The benefits of Revlimid in the treatment of multiple myeloma and certain types of lymphoma are well documented. Numerous clinical studies have shown that Revlimid, when used in combination with other medications, can significantly improve treatment outcomes and prolong survival. In patients with multiple myeloma, Revlimid has been shown to reduce the risk of disease progression and increase the overall response rate. It can also improve the duration of response, meaning that patients experience a longer period of disease control before the cancer progresses. For patients with certain types of lymphoma, Revlimid has demonstrated efficacy in inducing remission and preventing the recurrence of the disease. It can be used as part of initial treatment or as a maintenance therapy to keep the cancer in remission. Furthermore, Revlimid has shown promise in improving quality of life for patients with multiple myeloma and lymphoma. It can alleviate symptoms such as bone pain, fatigue and anemia, allowing patients to lead more active and fulfilling lives. However, it is important to note that the benefits of Revlimid can vary depending on the individual patient's condition and response to the medication. It may not be effective for all patients and the decision to use Revlimid should be made in consultation with a healthcare professional. Side effects of Revlimid Like any medication, Revlimid can cause side effects. The most common side effects include fatigue, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, and rash. These side effects are usually mild to moderate in severity and can be managed with supportive care measures. However, there are also more serious side effects associated with Revlimid that require close monitoring and medical intervention. These include blood clots, which can lead to deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism, 
and liver problems such as elevated liver enzymes or liver failure. Other potential side effects of Revlimid include low white blood cell count, which can increase the risk of infection, and low platelet count, which can lead to bleeding problems. Additionally, Revlimid can cause birth defects and should not be used during pregnancy or by women who are breastfeeding. It is important for patients to be aware of these potential side effects and to report any new or worsening symptoms to their healthcare provider. Regular blood tests and monitoring will be necessary to ensure the safe and effective use of Revlimid. How Revlimid works in the body. The exact mechanism of action of Revlimid is not fully understood, but it is believed to exert its anti-cancer effects through multiple pathways. One of the key mechanisms is the inhibition of the growth of cancer cells. Revlimid has been shown to interfere with the signaling pathways that cancer cells use to divide and grow. By doing so, it can slow down or stop the growth of cancer cells, leading to tumor regression and improved treatment outcomes. In addition to its direct effects on cancer cells, Revlimid also has immunomodulatory properties. It can enhance the activity of the immune system, particularly natural killer cells and T cells, which are responsible for recognizing and attacking cancer cells. Furthermore, Revlimid can inhibit the formation of new blood vessels, a process known as angiogenesis. Tumors rely on the formation of new blood vessels to supply nutrients and oxygen for their growth. By inhibiting angiogenesis, Revlimid can starve tumors of the resources they need to thrive. The precise mechanism of action of Revlimid may vary depending on the specific condition being treated. Ongoing research is focused on further understanding these mechanisms and identifying new ways to optimize the use of Revlimid in cancer treatment. Dosage and administration of Revlimid. The dosage and administration of Revlimid will vary depending on the specific condition being treated and the individual patient's response to the medication. It is important to follow the prescribed dosage and schedule provided by the healthcare professional. Revlimid is available in the form of capsules that are taken orally. The capsules should be swallowed whole with water and should not be opened, crushed or chewed. The medication can be taken with or without food, depending on individual preference and tolerability. The recommended starting dosage of Revlimid for the treatment of multiple myeloma is typically 25 mg once daily on days 121 of a 28-day treatment cycle. This is often combined with dexamethasone, a corticosteroid medication, which is taken on the same schedule. For the treatment of lymphoma and other blood-related disorders, the dosage and duration of treatment may vary. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the appropriate dosage and schedule for the specific condition being treated. It is crucial to take Revlimid exactly as prescribed and to not skip or alter doses without consulting a healthcare professional. Missing doses or taking more than the prescribed amount can affect the effectiveness of the medication and increase the risk of side effects. Precautions and warnings when using Revlimid. Before starting treatment with Revlimid, it is important to discuss any pre-existing medical conditions and medications with a healthcare professional. Certain conditions and medications may interact with Revlimid or increase the risk of side effects. Revlimid can cause birth defects and should not be used during pregnancy. It is important for both men and women of reproductive age to use effective contraception during treatment with Revlimid and for a certain period after discontinuation of the medication. Revlimid is also associated with an increased risk of blood clots, including deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Patients with a history of blood clots or other risk factors for thrombosis, such as obesity or smoking, should be closely monitored and may require additional preventive measures. Liver function should be monitored regularly during treatment with Revlimid, as the medication can cause liver problems. Patients with pre-existing liver disease may require dose adjustments or close monitoring to ensure the safe use of Revlimid. Additionally, Revlimid can lower the body's ability to fight infections by suppressing the immune system. Patients should be vigilant for signs of infection and report any symptoms, such as fever or persistent cough, to their healthcare provider. It is important to follow all precautions and warnings provided by the healthcare professional when using Revlimid. Regular monitoring and communication with the healthcare team will help ensure the safe and effective use of the medication. Drug interactions with Revlimid. Revlimid can interact with certain medications, potentially affecting their efficacy or increasing the risk of side effects. 
It is important to disclose all medications, including over-the-counter drugs and supplements, to the healthcare professional before starting treatment with Revlimid. Revlimid is metabolized by enzymes in the liver, and drugs that affect these enzymes can alter the concentration of Revlimid in the body. For example, drugs that induce these enzymes, such as rifampin or phenytoin, can reduce the effectiveness of Revlimid. Conversely, drugs that inhibit these enzymes, such as fluconazole or clarithromycin, can increase the concentration of Revlimid in the body and increase the risk of side effects. Close monitoring and potential dose adjustments may be necessary when Revlimid is used in combination with these medications. Certain medications such as warfarin or heparin, which are used to prevent blood clots, can interact with Revlimid and increase the risk of bleeding problems. It is important to monitor blood clotting parameters closely when these medications are used together. Other medications that can interact with Revlimid include certain antibiotics, antifungal drugs and anti-seizure medications. The healthcare professional will assess the potential interactions and determine the appropriate dosage and schedule for the medications being used. It is crucial to inform the healthcare professional about all medications being taken to ensure safe and effective treatment with Revlimid. They can provide guidance on potential interactions and make necessary adjustments to optimize treatment outcomes. Alternative treatment options to Revlimid. While Revlimid has shown remarkable efficacy in the treatment of multiple myeloma and certain types of lymphoma, it may not be appropriate or effective for all patients. In such cases, alternative treatment options may be considered. For multiple myeloma, alternative treatment options include other targeted therapies, such as proteasome inhibitors, e.g. bortezomib, or monoclonal antibodies, e.g. daratumumab. Additionally, high-dose chemotherapy followed by stem cell transplantation may be an option for eligible patients. In lymphoma, alternative treatment options depend on the specific subtype and stage of the disease. They may include chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy, or stem cell transplantation. The healthcare professional will assess the individual patient's condition and recommend the most appropriate treatment approach. It is important to discuss alternative treatment options with a healthcare professional to understand the potential benefits and risks. They can provide insights into the available options and help make an informed treatment decision based on the individual patient's condition and preferences. Conclusion Is Revlimid right for you? Revlimid is a groundbreaking medication that has revolutionized the treatment of multiple myeloma and certain types of lymphoma. Its ability to target cancer cells and inhibit their growth has shown remarkable efficacy in improving patient outcomes and prolonging survival. However, Revlimid is not without its potential side effects and the decision to use it should be made in consultation with a healthcare professional. It is important to understand the appropriate uses of Revlimid, its potential benefits, and the importance of managing its side effects. In this comprehensive guide, we have explored the uses, benefits, and side effects of Revlimid. We have discussed its mechanism of action, dosage and administration, precautions and warnings, and potential drug interactions. We have also highlighted alternative treatment options for patients who may not be suitable candidates for Revlimid. Ultimately, the decision to use Revlimid or explore alternative treatment options should be based on a thorough understanding of the individual patient's condition, preferences and goals of treatment. A healthcare professional can provide guidance and support throughout the treatment journey, ensuring the best possible outcomes for the patient. So if you or a loved one is considering Revlimid for the treatment of multiple myeloma or lymphoma, consult with a healthcare professional to determine if it is the right choice for you. With the right information and support, you can make an informed treatment decision and embark on a path towards better health and well-being. Thanks for watching.